is going on guys? I said in my last video that I was going to make a short video on the tank passive abilities when I logged back into the alpha. I got into that yesterday, I played a little bit around with the tank. I still have pretty much the same impressions on it, does a decent amount of damage, mana runs out real quick, and it tanks. But anyways, going into the passive tree quickly, I assumed that they'd be pretty much similar to the cleric and the mage. They are, for the most part, it's actually a little bit more changed up than those two because the cleric and the mage they had two tiers of the tree that were exactly the same it's a little bit more mixed up for the tank but anyways tier one it increases your block chance it increases your mana regen the mana regen thing is huge as i've said with the tank they don't keep mana very quick like they run out of mana real quick so increasing mana regen as a passive that will be a huge thing especially early on in the game i'm sure the mana regen will increase as your gear increases and your level increases and this is just alpha so it could change but anyways on to tier two it increases the percentage of healing received which i honestly think is a pretty cool passive especially for a tank because it gives the tank itself a little buff and not just the healer which normally you just see the healers getting their healing spells buffed and not the receiving end of it getting buffed but you also have increased health regen which as a tank would also be pretty important and the increase your critical hit rate chance going on to tier three increase your max health which is a huge boost for a tank and increase your defense mitigation which again as a tank it is i feel like a pretty crucial passive uh going on to tier four it increases your physical evasion which evasion is the amount i believe for dodging attacks or evading attacks so it increases your chance that, that attack is not going to hit you when you're tanking a creature or attacking a creature then there is increased cooldown reductions and increased movement speed I really like the movement speed one. I really don't want to see it on every single class. I still want to see a lot more diversity in these passives, but I think they were just mostly put in to get a basic understanding of them in the game to test out, which I mean, that's what alpha is. You're not getting the entire set of features. You're getting these core features in it that are basically the basic bare bones of what we're going to see from the final game. But yeah, that's the tank passive abilities for you. Um, in other alpha news, they did finally find that bug that we've been looking for that created the ghost AI, which I think that was a huge one. I feel like if that didn't get solved, that could have potentially delayed the alpha again or the NDA drop because with a lot of people jumping in, that really affected the performance of this. And I don't think like there's roughly 10 to 15,000 people who are testing this game. During the tests that I've been playing, they've been in a weird time slot you haven't seen a huge amount of people in them. I mean, the servers have been full, but they've kind of lowered the servers down from like five servers down to two servers in the latest tests. But when that NDA drops, you're gonna have huge content creators like Asmongold making videos. You're gonna have all the Ashes content creators, including me pumping out tons of content. The hype is gonna get built up and you don't want to show a poor performance of a game, even in alpha, because the internet sucks and they're gonna take it and they're gonna throw it back against Ashes and it's gonna hurt them if it doesn't doesn't perform well even though they've said time and time again that this is a true alpha it's meant for testing and it's not gonna look perfect which I say keep that in mind Friday when you start jumping in and watching streams and watching all the videos is it's not the final version of the game from what I've seen unless something major pops up in the next week during the spot testing we're doing I don't see any reason for the NDA drop to be delayed again I think that July 9th is gonna be that date for the NDA drop and for you to find Finally, see what Intrepid's been working on and get your hands on Alpha One in, even if not in a physical sense, but you know, enjoying it through streamers and all that. Anyways, let me know what you think of the tank passive abilities in the comments down below. Are you excited for Alpha One's ND80 drop next week? Also, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, if you have yet to make an Ashes account, you're gonna wanna because alpha testing's coming up. You're gonna wanna jump on the forums and talk to people about it. You might wanna purchase some cosmetic packs or buy into the alpha if you're super excited about it. So use my referral link in the description below if you don't have an account. I mean, you don't have to. I'd appreciate it if you do. If not, whatever, I still like you. But otherwise, be sure to click that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, turn on the bell for notifications, and stay tuned for a lot more to come.